Although I am personally against the whole idea of school education in the developed world, I was very careful to make sure that both the children, my daughter and my son, had the choice and felt that they had the free choice always to opt to go to school or not to go to school. They constantly chose the option not to go to school. Not against the idea of schools as such, because I think that their childcare resources are the last resort, but I am against the idea of school education. I also think schools need to change quite dramatically. However, there is a difficult question here. What about those situations in the third world where neither girls nor boys are going to school? And this causes a problem apparently with their education and with the, their future status and control and freedom as adults. Now this is something that's come up in the news recently because of Malala Yousafzai uh, in Afghanistan recently being shot in the head for going to school uh, by the Taliban. Now that's obviously a pretty negative thing to happen and I think it's absolutely right that she should be campaigning for a right to education. And, and the fact that she may be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize is absolutely brilliant. It seems to suggest that we believe that the educational situation in this part of the world is better than the educational situation in other parts of the world. And this is something that I've never been able to resolve. I mean, for a start, there is one way of looking at it, which is that if they don't go to school, they may be able to um, help their parents more. Uh, learn things on the job as children and so forth and it's about survival but on the other hand they also have a problem because if they're not properly educated they don't have control now in some situations it's more about attempting to incorporate the children into this global economic system uh, and about the prowess of a particular nation state as opposed to the needs of that actual community. But in other cases, there definitely does appear to be a problem. One of the things I suppose I would say was that whatever else is the case, it seems very clear to me that education otherwise than at school, and I can say this now because my children are now at college, um, is a better way to proceed with children in the developed world than elsewhere. It suggests that it's parasitic on state education. I don't really think it is. Or that we are in some way superior to these children and the children in the poorer parts of the world really need to be educated and they're really, you know, sort of like helpless and passive and so forth. And, uh, you know, we've got to help them up and all that kind of thing. And I don't think that's right. But on the other hand, nor do I think it's right that girls are denied a chance of education and I think it is genuine education so I'm sort of stuck here and whereas that all that may or may not be true and there's a lot that we don't understand there's a lot of information that we don't have and so forth one thing that is very clear to me is that in order to learn efficiently as opposed to at the kind of state school that we have in this part of the world you need to avoid school in order to be educated in a way which is sustainable, which promotes personal growth and so forth. Although I wouldn't want to generalize and say that was true of everybody. So basically, I suppose I have a question for you. How do we reconcile the apparent perception that it's better not to go to school and to be educated in a different way and the perception that, that Malala Yousafzai is, is basically a heroine and clearly does deserve some kind of prize or something for it and that we sort of really have to respect her choice to go to school. How do we put those two together? How do we sort this out?